Do you think there are, you know, common values that could be considered American? Like certain things that everybody believes? I don't live that way. And I'm born on the 4th of July. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that way. You know what I'm saying? I live my life the way I do. Nobody else gonna affect my life but me. You know what I'm saying? So even though other people, you know, do affect your life around you and all this American stuff, I just feel like I'm living on North America, brother. That's all I'm doing. I'm living. I think we all have uh, an intense ego. We're all very prideful. Um, if you go to other countries, you know, say, say France or anywhere in Europe or something, you don't. I mean, you know, everyone has, has pride in their nation, but they don't have the same kind of like blind, bullheaded pride as the most Americans have. I think Americans value um, money and family, but money. <laughs> but that's a lot of the world. Not, is that not. a good thing? I don't think money is a bad thing, but I think when it becomes your number one priority in life, it can uh, allow you to forget other things that are important. What are those things that you feel maybe could be done differently here? Economics. I mean, there are just too many people who are without. A lot of people who have an abundance. So we need something done there. Is there anything that you feel negatively about that you don't like about America? Yeah. A lot of financial issues, I would say. I mean, it's a lot of things going on around here that, you know, people of the United States could fix if they really wanted to, but they're just considered about so many other issues. It, you know, they kind of lack the issues they need to be concerned about. So that aspect of it, you know, I really don't like. I mean, they say America is a very diverse population. You think it's very accepting of people's diversity in real life? Somewhere. I would say somewhere. We're supposed to be a, like a melting pot, but I don't think that really happens. Uh, in the way it's, it's, it's mixed, you know, and in the way it's segregated too, because in like the area I grew up in, Humble Park, for instance, it's primarily Hispanic, you know, so they take a liking to, you know, their culture a little bit more, so they'll stick more into one bunch of your one culture. I mean, at the workplace, people probably, you know, get along a little better because it's more diverse and you have to deal with certain things, but for the most part, it's segregated, then again, it's not, you know. You know, the, the whole idea of a melting pot, the, uh, it started off, you know, everyone coming here, and that's the, the image we try to portray, but, you know, the immigrants have been raped and bastardized of their rights since they came here, I hardly think. I mean, it's a melting pot because everyone can come, but they can only come if they shed all their own cultural bullshit and, like, conform to our own standards, and I think that, you know, it's, it's a nice idea in theory, but it's just, uh, it's something that doesn't really work out. I think America is accepting of everybody's diversity, you know, all the different kinds of cultures and people that are represented. You think it's an accepting? No. No, I don't think so. Do you think, do you think like, you know, everywhere you go, I'm a black man, you think a white person gonna accept me for who I am without, you know what I'm saying, getting to know me? No. You think, you know, a black person to be receptive to a white person? You know what I'm saying? You gotta ask yourself those questions. You also gotta ask yourself, how, what, what's the immigration policies, you know what I'm saying, in America right now? So you gotta understand, you know what I'm saying, they can be, they, it, it may look like it's accepting, but it's not, you know what I'm saying, because people are scared to even do this. Hey, how you doing? My name's Rob. What's your name? Justine. Nice to meet you, Justine. Just as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Do you have any other, like, um, thoughts, last thoughts about America? I think America is also, the younger generation is very MTV oriented and very, like, is that a good materialistic? Thing? No, I don't think it's a good thing. Oh, I like America. I think we have the most potential for change. Everything that I've you know said about America, I, th I think is true. You know, some of it's been kind of uh, derogatory or harsh, I suppose. But it's uh, you know at the same time, like this is our country, and like we've we've kind of like tried to make people able to be bullheaded and prideful and and Philistine and. Yeah, I'm fine with it. That's kind of what I like, so it's, uh, it's fine. I wouldn't rather live anywhere else. All right, any last thoughts about America? Anything you want us to know about America? No. Y'all know. Just, you know, view the city. Okay. For sure. It. No problem, man. Aaron. Rob. Rob. Love. Peace. Have a good one, too.
your mind, close your eyes, see with your heart. How do you forgive the murderer of your father? The ink of a scholar is worth a thousand times more than the blood of a martyr. Uh, yeah. Terrorist. Uh. Now the poor Ku Klux man see that we all brothers Not cause things the same because we lack the same color And that's gray, now that's man Can't burn his cross cause he can't afford the gasoline Now if a Muslim woman strapped with a bomb on the bus With the seconds running give you the jitters Just imagine an American based Christian organization Planning the poison water supplies to bring the second coming quicker Nigga, they ain't living properly Break them off with no democracy Turn their whole culture to a mockery Give them Coca-Cola for their property Give them gum, give them guns, get them young, give them fun But if they ain't giving it up, then they ain't getting none And don't give them all, now, man, just give them some It's the paper, some of these cops must be Al-Qaeda, nigga, uh. The more money that they make, the more money that they make The better and better they live Whatever they want Give them pen, make them pull gold from river. Give black man crap, block and things. Give red man craps, slot machines. Now bring it back, 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 bring it back. Don't give the black man food, give the red man liquor. Red man food, black man nigga. Give yellow man tool, make them railroad villa. Also give them pen, make them pull gold from river. Give black man crap, blocks and ting. Give the red man craps. Slot machines, then bring it back, 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 bring it back. Oh. You guys doing? You guys got one minute? No? 30 seconds? No. Man, I wonder what it's like when you try and get their phone number. <laughs> I wonder if we had a pretty girl, how many people would stop? A lot more. We'll see about this. Tomorrow. We'll see if we can test that out. Man, I thought I was pretty enough, man. <laughs> A bit about her interview. <laughs> this is what I. This is why. Tell us. A, tell us a bit about what you do. What I do in why life. You're so good at interviews. Yeah, I'm not that good at so interview. Good. Well, first of all, I love people. I think that's a big part of interviewing is loving people, actually caring what they want to say when you ask a question, and finding everything interesting. Um, and I think actually, like as Baha'i, if you do that, no matter what, most people are like that. Um, but also, I'm a journalism and sociology major, which is a marriage of wondering why people do things and why culture is the way it is, and finding out why it is the way it is and communicating that to other people. We might have scared take, some people. We didn't even take this into account yet, you know what I'm saying? You know? See, we might have scared some people off. Yeah, man, a lot of people gave me funny looks, man. Look, I got this <laughs> tilted sideways hat and everything. We got on these hoodies, man. We got on black clothes. People might be getting a little, whoa, why is this drug dealer trying to talk to me? <laughs> you know? but, then, but then we had Miss All-American Minnesota, you know, looking cute as can be, you know, with the little red mittens and everything. Who's going to be threatened by red mittens? No one. No one exactly. I know. No, no one I know. You know, blonde hair, blue eyes, like classic All-American. Yep, yep, I agree. So, um...